Um, well, it's been really good for my students who are especially um, second language learners and I have a couple of children also that needed extending so it was really good that they have the model that they can assess this themselves on and take themselves further. Um, it's also been really good for our questioning. We've got deeper questions and deeper understanding as well. Um, my students here are year three, so they're seven and eight, and it's a decile three or four school, I think, with a big cultural makeup, lots of ESOL students, lots of special needs students. For me to get me to use it, I had to make it colourful, so I have each symbol on a different colour, and that made it very easy when I worked in the juniors. If the children couldn't say the word straight away, they could always point to the colour and identify what they needed to do from there. Um, well they've been able to remember what in their head if you send them away to do the writing and use the rubrics as well. They can remember um, if they're defining, they know that they have a title, they have things that are relevant and not relevant. Um, it's the same when they're doing a compare and contrast or a part whole, they know that they need to have the links there because they can see them, visualise them.